Good afternoon to everyone and welcome to today's session. <coughs> we apologize for uh, a half an hour delay. But anyway, a 240 marks question paper require uh, some amount of uh, uh, break post test. So let us make the start. <coughs> Element typically leads to muscle wasting, whereas Babinski spasticity etc they are all the features of the UMN is what need to be basically remembered now how is the pain in temperature we welcome our online users Dr. Varun, Kirti, Anuja, Varangal, Tirupati everyone who patiently have waited uh, for the small uh, delay in the takeoff but once we take off, we will finish 240 without a break. It's like uh, flying from Hyderabad to New York. So non-stop uh, will finish, don't worry. Now coming to the spinal cord, for our earlier question, you know that pain and temperature spinal thalamic tract decusates right at the level of the spinal cord. That's the reason any hemisection will lead to contralateral loss of the pain and temperature is what need to be remembered. Coming to the blood supply to the spinal cord, there is one single anterior spinal artery which supplies anterior two thirds and two posterior spinal arteries which supply the posterior one third is what you have to fundamentally remember. Now, the nigrostriatal system, <coughs> you must know in the nigrostriatal system, what is the direct pathway? What is the indirect pathway? <coughs> is the voice clear? Just check that. Huh? Is the voice clear? <coughs> now, what is the direct indirect pathway? Which is inhibitory, which is stimulatory pathway, which is cholinergic, which is glutaminergic. We discussed it in a great detail in our regular uh, neurology videos. But for now, it is the most of the afferents, typically of the basal ganglia, whatever that reaches basal ganglia, they reach the putamen and caudate. That's the reason striatum is called the input, input section of the basal ganglia, is what need to be remembered. What is the purpose of basal ganglia? The motor cortex will be planning the motor activity. Cerebellum and basal ganglia will fine tune it. So, in that, the basal ganglia may putamen and caudate. Out of that, putamen, in fact, is much more important than the caudate, mainly to control the moment, is what I want to underscore to all of you. So, the cerebral cortex, thalamus, substantia nigra. In the substantia nigra, it is the pars compactor. Which, are, which is the one which throws the inputs to the basal ganglia is what need to be remembered. Now coming to corneal reflex. What is the afferent division of the corneal reflex doctor? It is the trigeminal. Efferent is facial as all of you know very well. So facial nucleus, ophthalmic nerve, nasociliary nerve, they are all the ones which are associated is what you have to fundamentally remember. Now let me wake you up from the sleep doctor, <clears throat> time we shoot at each other, plasma peak concentration, I am asking you a question, you must give me an answer, peak concentration of the drug into clearance divided by bioavailability is equal to what value, yes, oh, volume of distribution? Is it loading dose or maintenance dose, which is calculated with this formula? Yes, what is your confident answer? Loading dose, not the maintenance dose is dependent on clearance. You are very sure? That's right, Dr. Shiva, Dr. Anuja, everybody also say from Pune, it is the loading dose, which is the wrong answer. Maintenance dose it is. See, Dr. 5 
formula in pharmacology you need to be sure to survive the need pg 15 questions in pharma volume of distribution is equal to the amount of the drug in the body by the plasma drug concentration clearance is rate of elimination by plasma drug concentration half life is 0.7 into volume of distribution by clearance and loading dose is the plasma concentration into volume of distribution by bioavailability whereas clearance by bioavailability into peak concentration the plasma will give you maintenance dose this you have to be 100% sure doctor <clears throat> yeah now um dr samira alone is our online audience who answered it as maintenance dose because others wrongly answered it as loading dose no problem now doctor sympathetic nervous system let us talk about it pelvic splanchnic nerves they contain the preganglionic parasympathetic fibers originating from s2 to s4 is what you have to basically remember they don't carry sympathetic fibers accommodation basically is required is uh, carried out by oculomotor nerve as all of you know very well now generally middle cerebral artery means we think of hemiparesis we think of hemiparesis but posterior cerebral artery can it lead to development of hemiparesis very much you should remember posterior cerebral artery supplies the cerebral peduncles and uh, any damage to the descending corticospinal fibers to the cerebral peduncles can lead to the development of contralateral hemiparesis is what you have to ultimately remember what else can lead to hemiplegia doctor internal capsule any damage to the chordate nucleus can also lead to contralateral hemiparesis then uh, if the medullary pyramids get uh, infected then uh, it can lead to partial contralateral hemiparesis is what i want to underscore to all of you now doctor in severe cases of temporal lobe seizures you want to do a bilateral resection of the amygdala hippocampus if you do that then what is the main problem which can occur all our memory is lying with amygdala and hippocampus amygdala and hippocampus are also important for our emotions that's the reason when we go to reading room we must be emotionally vibrant and enjoy the process of learning reading memorizing if we leave the amygdala in the home and go to reading room we will only end up in a boredom if honestly doctor if you are feeling boring it is the telltale neurocutaneous marker of uh, wrong content you are studying simple which is never asked in exam if you are reading the high yield issues in this limited time available you will never feel boredom you love to borrow time you will be quintessentially exponentially growing in your enthusiasm if you are decrementally falling down means either you are studying what is not tested in exam what is impossible for the humans to remember or the one which you have never studied just because your friends are studying you also are studying then also you will suffer from myasthenic process take it as my word next 50 days are the most happy days of the life let me tell you you enjoy it you read it you focus have you seen the movie karate kid huh so there are some uh, i'll give you a small list of uh, uh, inspiring movies play little titi play little tennis 
go back to the reading room once more study but be emotionally vibrant because amygdala consolidates the memory is what need to be remembered now coming to the lateral aspect of the upper arm who is responsible for innervation it is the axillary nerve which is mainly responsible for the innervation is what need to be fundamentally remembered the reason whenever somebody had a surgical neck of humerus fractured with the axillary nerve you can't test abduction which is very painful instead you can test the anesthesia in the regimental area as a test of knowing whether axillary nerve got injured or not is what need to be remembered now doctor let me wake you up from the sleep true negative by true negative plus false positive this is the formula for sensitivity or specificity or ppv positive predictive value or negative predictive value who will tell get the chocolate dr shiva says no negative predictive value vizag says positive predictive value samira sanjay says specificity karim nagar student says sensitivity sarpindi any anybody else here want to propose anything from nampali ha huh? so doctor to survive need pg what are the four spm formulae which you should not forget sensitivity is true positive by true positive plus false negative true negative by true negative plus false positive specificity true positive by all positives is positive predictive value true negative by all negatives is negative predictive value this is what you need to basically remember patient is unable to extend the right leg but not flex the same leg ah sorry he is able to extend the leg but not able to flex then which segment is basically damaged dermatomes root values doctor you need to carry your spinal cord to the exam hall you can't afford to forget which root value is for what today only that uh, dermatomal uh, root value uh, diagram will be there in every book no master it which is required when you are answering a root value based question you will remember me in the exam hall in the prometric center take it as my word so doctor sciatic nerve originates from l3 to s4 and it is the one which is associated with the paralysis of the flexors which are the hamstring muscles is what need to be basically remembered